motherfucking phone if you is not paying no goddamn rent. Bitch, you not rent due, bitch. Rent due, bitch. Rent due, run that check up. You better catch up. Hey, y'all, thank you so much for watching this new TV where we talk about everything, how you work from home. Give me all the inside scoop, like, because I need to know. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about my whole work from home experience, pretty much. Um, I get this probably, like, every single video I do. I always have at least somebody asking about um, how I work from home and stuff like that. And I always have y'all in my uh, DMs, like, on Instagram and Snapchat asking me. So, um, I I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't know where to start. But now I feel like I've I've been working from home since um, 2015, so uh, I think I have enough information <laughs> or enough experience to be able to um, share my experience with you guys and also help y'all um, who want to work from home. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button as well. Let me know how you feel about this video. How did I start working from home? Let's back up. Um, I. I had already always been working in the like whenever I first started working, I would work in the fast food industry. My first job was Taco Bell. I started working um, whenever I was 16. I got promoted really fast at Taco Bell because I was good at what I do. Like I'm always like anytime I I learn like a new task or whatever, like I'm a really really fast learner. And whenever I learn that shit, like I master that bitch. So um, I got promoted, and then um, I was working two jobs. Like I said, I was working as a hostess. Um, at a restaurant and I was doing that for about three months I think I wasn't working two jobs at the same time for too long I eventually quit the hostess job and I continued to work at Taco Bell but then after um I got with um Freddie if y'all know Freddie's one of my story time characters whenever I, I got with him I moved in with him I moved on the other side of town so I quit my job and so I worked at Foot Workers for like a weekend um I also worked at Target I mean not Target um Kroger's um, that was the only grocery store um, job that I had. Um, but after that, I started doing call center work. And so I was actually working at a call center in downtown for a while, for like a, a year and some change. And that was my very first call center job. So um, everything was all new to me. Um, I, I was used to doing customer service. I hadn't actually did customer service like over the phone. So I mastered that too, y'all. I used to, you know, I got some story times for that job um well not really a story time well yeah it is a story time i was busting my ass y'all like busting my ass but um i had uh stopped working there and i started working at this other call center type job it was like outbound calls and so um the company is called i guess i can tell tell you because fuck the fuck uh, they're not even called this anymore anyway so their um original uh, company name is called keys records retrieval spelled k-e-a-i-s record retrieval and what i did i made like several outbound calls between like 80 and 100 plus outbound calls um to like different medical facilities and stuff like that and like basically what we did we were hired by the defense attorney to get records on the plaintiff of whoever is being sued or something or, yeah whoever is being sued in like in different car accidents or um lawsuits just different type of um different litigations or whatever so i was the one to obtain the records like i would call different um employers or hospitals and stuff like that i started there august of 2015 i believe yeah august of 2015 i started there and then literally a month later i got promoted to a work from home position and so they allowed me to um work from home um i have to have my own equipment for that particular job and i had a laptop at the time and um they downloaded the software and stuff like that i was able to work from home and that was the very first time that i worked from home i needed a landline for that particular job because um of course we're making outbound calls and they didn't recommend making these calls from your cell phone anyway so after maybe like a year and some change they tried to get people to come back to the office and mind you that particular job was in um, downtown houston and i was not about to be paying for parking every day no more because whenever I was working inside of the office I had to pay for parking it was like nine dollars a day then after I stopped working there I started working at my last job that I no longer work and this is the job that um the longest work from home job that I've had thus far and I guess I'll say it now because like I said I don't work for this company no more um but their comp the company name is Hotel Tonight 
and Hotel Tonight is kind of like a um, kind of like an Expedia, kind of like a Hotwire.com, but it just focuses on hotels specifically. And I'm pretty sure y'all have seen their advertisement um, on like Pandora or just Google search or something like that, because they're starting to get around now. Like the name is starting to be really really popular, but. I did that. Um, they provided me equipment within the first 90 days of my employment. They sent me um, a Mac laptop, um, a Mac Air to be exact. The equipment was free. Um, you, you did have to have internet, which they had like a program where they would pay for the internet. Um, if you were to work for them, like they'll um, put like $50 on your check every month or something like that. Um, to cover your internet bill and by the way i've had other work from home jobs I, I used to work for apple i didn't stay there for too long because i didn't really like the company um and they didn't pay enough but with this particular um job they paid a decent amount to me at that time now i'm working somewhere else which it's double that um, in the beginning it was cool i ain't gonna lie you know everyone you know, was cool. You know how a job be when, you know, they start running across employers that like fuck it up for everybody and then they try to like make new rules and stuff and it just make, it just don't work. So yeah, that was the kind of company that they <laughs> became to be. The job itself was pretty easy once I caught on. The only thing I was doing, I was taking calls, um, inbound calls from people who like wanted to cancel their reservation or they um, had a question about a reservation, they had a complaint, you know, bed bugs, like stuff like that. We were the, the ones who they would call um, for different stuff like that. So um, it was a it was a challenging, challenging job at the time. It is a 24 hour company. So whenever I first started working there, I had a shift from eight to five and that's 8 p.m. to five in the morning. Um, but then once I got pregnant with my, my um, last baby, um, I switched my schedule to 6 to 3.30, I believe. Well, 6.30 to 3.30. And um, it was cool, but towards the end, like I said, once they started changing the rules and trying to be strict on motherfuckers who ain't, you know, done nothing to nobody, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, it's time to go. I applied for another job, which I won't tell y'all what this company is, only because I currently work there. Um, but it, um, I'll say this, it is... It is an insurance company, and I'm probably saying too much by just saying that, but it is a um, famous insurance company that um, I work for, um, and it's an amazing job, amazing salary, um, amazing, amazing pay, amazing people. Um, I really, really like it, and I've been working there for a couple months now, um, but they also send you equipment. I come across a lot of people saying, Angie, like, help me find, you know, what, help me figure out if this job is legit. They'll say, hey, I'm going to send you a check and, you know, I need you to cash it for me and, you know, um, you could keep this, like, stuff. If you ever get a job or find out a job like that that's working from home, don't do it because it's, it's a scam. But there are also tons of legit jobs and that's what I'm here to talk about. Um... I personally, I, I am signed up to these newsletters, dreamhomebasedwork.com. And so this site revolves around nothing but the legit work from home jobs. And I found this website from YouTube because the, the lady or the creator of the website, she actually has her own YouTube channel. And if, um, if I remember, I'll put her link in the description box below. But that's uh, her site is what introduced me to a lot of the work from home companies. I get this newsletter every week or so where she would email like whatever jobs are hiring in the area. Even though I already have a job, you know, I still like to know the different jobs that are out there because like I said, I get a lot of questions all the time. Angie, what do you do? How do you do it? Um, I'm really working, you know, I'm a single mother and I, I really need to be working from home. And I'm gonna list a few jobs that um, I was emailed. The resume is required um, for most of the jobs, um, just like any other. So like I said, it's, it's a legit job as well. So um, they do interviews like on Skype. Some of them do interviews um, over the phone. So don't think just because, you know, it's virtual that it's not something for you to take serious because it definitely is because it is still a job. Amazon is currently hiring starting at $15 an hour. Um, and they're hiring part-time customer care rep seasonal. Um, this particular job only does certain states and you'll also run across that a lot. Like some jobs won't 
um, won't be looking for candidates in your particular state. Some of them go, you know, vary from state. So you have to reside in, you know, within a certain mile, mileage of whatever major city that they, you know, list. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but this particular job, I mean, you will qualify for it if you live in Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. It says here that a laptop is included. So that's a good social element. Um, they're hiring online moderators in multiple countries and they are um, they starting pay is $15 an hour. It looks like Kelly Connect is also hiring customer care reps. The pay starts at 12, between 12 and 14 an hour. Insurance, which is an insurance company, not the one that I work for, but it is another insurance company starting at $15 an hour. Um, you must be able to start um, April 1st. StubHub is hiring customer care reps starting at $13.60 an hour. Wex is also hiring customer service reps starting at $14 an hour. Um, benefits are included. A lot of these jobs do have benefits. My job has excellent benefits. So that's something you also wanna look for. American Express, um, they're hiring travel consultants to assist customers with travel plans starting at $16 an hour. Williams Sonoma is hiring full-time customer care reps starting at $12 an hour. Tell y'all, it is possible to work from home. Like, it is possible to work from home. Some jobs, you may need a phone. I particularly, personally, I like jobs where they provide me the equipment. That way I can know I have the right working stuff. I don't have to worry about slowing my computer down to work for your company. Like, the fuck, who wants to do that? So, that's the type of job that I prefer, but to each his own. <clears throat> if you're a single mother, I know it is hard. Or if you just don't have transportation at the moment, like, Working from home is is really, really like fucking amazing. Like, I literally get out my bed probably like five minutes before the start of my shift and I do what the fuck I gotta do real quick and go log in and walk to my living room to go work. Like, that's it. It is a real job, so don't think you could have your baby crying in the background while you're on the phone with Susan trying to help her with her policy. Like, no, my nigga, don't do that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember to comment and like this video and let me know if you work from home and what are your experience from working from home. Let me know. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video.